one important consequence of chemical shift is the is that each chemically different type of NMR active nucleus in a molecule will give rise to its own signal in the NMR spectrum. The nuclei are thus referred to as a chemically equivalent or chemically inequivalent when determining how many signals will be observed in an NMR spectrum. For example, both CH3Cl, your chloromethane, and dichloromethane provide one resonance edge in a proton NMR spectrum. Now from this we can infer that the individual hydrogens in each of these molecules are chemically equivalent. So from the viewpoint of chemical structures, the reason for this is that the hydrogen in each of them are related by symmetry elements. Symmetry elements in this case refers to a reflection through a mirror plane or rotation in the axis, and hence these protons are identical. So we see that the rotation about this C C L bond here for a chloromethane, right? So rotate, you see now? They are equivalent. The three protons, right, fits into the gap that's occupied by the previous proton previously. So you see that? And that's the reason why they're the same. And hence you only show one signal, no splitting. So it is indistinguishable from the previous molecule node before you spin. Now for the other side, the dichloromethane, as we do a reflection through the mirror plane, you see? Do you notice? So in this case, right, we are cutting through these two green ball, right, and the central carbon here, and you see that these two are reflections of each other. You see reflections? Can you see that? So that's why they are identical. So hence, they will not couple with each other, they will show onto the same, same side, same signal. So only one residence in the proton spectrum. Thank you. Hope you can revise. Have a nice day. Cheers.